सो गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन माई सेल्फ गौतम शर्मा आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन अ सेपेंस एजुकेशन सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर टू पॉइंट वन फाइव ऑफ एन सी आर टी दैट इज मोशन इन स्टेट लाइन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वट क्वेश्चन दे आर आस्किंग ओके सो लेट एस कंसिडर द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन पॉइंट टू पॉइंट वन फाइव सजेस्ट अ सुटेबल फिजिकल सिचुएशन फॉर ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ग्राफ ओके सो इन ग्राफ यू नीड टू सी हियर दिस इज योर एक्स एंड टी दैट इज पोजिशन एंड टाइम ग्राफ इट इज ओके and the graph shows that initially the body was at rest see here initially body this position is your up to rest position up to a okay then gains a constant speed for some time see here uh, it gains a constant speed for some times after that the velocity reduces to a value of negative see here velocity again again become zero and it became negative right see here negative and then after some time it become constant and after that some um, it become constant it is similar to the football being kicked here so let us see uh, if uh, there is a goal post like this okay and a football uh, a footballer is here and he kicks his uh, he kicks kick then what will happen so what will happen a body is in a raised position so after that it increase the speed see here increase the speed and after striking it what will happen it become suddenly zero and after that it will go back in opposite direction that is negative velocity is um, negative velocity okay and after that what will happen its speed will become uh, constant uh, speed will become uh, speed will it will come back and it will become at a rest okay so when a footballer kick so its speed increase after its striking its speed become zero and after that it becomes uh, uh cons uh, const uh, it increases the speed after that it become rest see uh, question um, uh, question if you want to mark here see here uh, it um, ball, is, um, ball is earlier at a rest position and after that what happens after that its speed increase and after that suddenly they uh, turn uh, t uh, speed decreased and up to this point its speed become zero and after that its speed increase but in a negative direction that is when uh, object is going like this so uh, object after that uh, it is hitting it will coming back and after certain period it become raised because it is not possible that every time football will go on uh, go on uh, with the constant speed and all so i hope you have understood this situation so next situation so next situation is that so try to understand the graph shows the graph shows that velocity decrease from positive value to negative value and at an instant its velocity decreases suddenly and the motion of a ball falling from height see here velocity is increasing and after that decreasing okay see here velocity increasing decreasing increasing decreasing right velocity is increasing and decreasing velocity is increasing and decreasing sometimes see here with if you will go uh, if you will uh, if you will study its motion in a velocity time graph so it is uh, try to understand it is your velocity time graph okay it is your velocity and time graph so with the increase in a time so velocity decrease and after that it velocity increases in negative direction and after what happen with the increase see here and after that what will happen see here after that suddenly it uh, uh, moves in opposite direction so you know that falling of ball what happens in falling of ball so when you uh, when you, you know, when you leave a ball from a certain height what will happen what will happen or when you throw a ball from below so what will happen ball's speed will decrease so suddenly here see here from first part if you will see the first part if you will see the first part so what is this first part it is your speed is decreasing so ball is thrown upwards so speed is decreasing and after that what happens become zero and after that it is start increasing in a negative direction so see here it is start decreasing in negative direction so as soon as it strike the ground so it's uh, it's again it starts increasing see here see as soon as it it strikes the ground so what will happen it its velocity will become zero and uh, after that what will happen speed speed will start decreasing see here speed when a ball will again go speed start decreasing but it is not like that it will always go for a height edge 
so certainly if velocity earlier velocity was 40 meter per second 40 meter per second so there is a loose of loss of velocity it will be 30 meter per second it will be 25 meter per second likewise it will reduce so from graph they have already given from graph they have already given that velocity velocity is behaving in the same manner velocity time graph is behaving same manner but the thing is that the magnitude of the velocity is decreasing with the time and at at time ball ball will uh, ball will become raised see here the motion of a ball falling from a height on a ground and rebounding back is the process that relates the graph i hope you have understood now okay so now next uh, next is your c c suggest uh, suitable so if you look uh, look into the graph c so this is your acceleration and time graph so the graph shows that the body initially initially moving with the uniform velocity see here why uniform because acceleration is zero if acceleration is zero it means that the body is moving with the uniform speed that is velocity is your constant right and after certain time what happens acceleration increase and suddenly decrease so then suddenly the acceleration increase and decrease for a very small instant and then again it becomes zero the striking of hammer on the nail is same process that explains the graph sudden for an instant suddenly suddenly its acceleration see here when you when you use a hammer when you use a hammer okay so when you use hammer so it is a normal process so let us consider this is a hammer and you have lift so when you lift so with a constant velocity so as soon as it, it become near by nail so what will happen its acceleration accelerate it with a very fast and suddenly deaccelerate understood so uh, the striking of hammer on the nail is the same process so for a, s a small amount of period where it accelerate and deaccelerate so it uh, hammer strikes the hammer strikes the nail and in this way uh, in this way this graph can be explained i hope you all have understood this so if you have any question you can ask me certainly in comment section given below okay thank you for watching my video and please subscribe